So what drives me as a, as a plant breeder? I think maybe there's probably two major components to it. One of it is the potential of developing a variety that can, can be grown widely and, and actually have a, a, a positive impact uh, in, in, in growers' lives. You know, the other component of it is more on the genetics, more on the research side. Understanding genetics and understanding how those traits are inherited from one generation to another is a little bit akin to predicting the future. As a fresh market tomato breeder, I have a tremendous repository both of the basic germplasm, the basic parents that I would need to, to be making those initial crosses with, as well as at my disposal, a, a wonderful data set of genetic markers and phenotypic data about those potential parents. And the end result is that I can actually have population sizes maybe a thousand times larger in size than I would typically have if I were just screening in the greenhouse or just screening in the field. The most important traits are varied. There's very critical uh, traits that are necessary for the grower to even grow the tomato in the first place. There's traits that are necessary for that tomato to be able to hold up and be presentable during shipping and then be presentable on the store shelf. And then certainly there's a component focused on, on, on flavor and you know, the, the, the aspects that the end consumer would be most interested in seeing. Breeding for flavor is, is that really important standard that we're, we're focused on now uh, that certainly is uh, of uh, most interest to the end consumer. I also do a, quite a bit of selection for that natural sugar content measuring what's called BRICS, which is a measure of sugar content that's used across uh, many different crops. The natural sugar content of the fruit is a major component of, of, of flavor that uh, we're, we're focused on. We also have a very good team here that's looking into some of the additional components of flavor, and we're incorporating that into our uh, selection regime, moving forward for better flavor tomatoes. Uh, really a great deal of plant breeding is long term and your best ideas, uh, the biggest impact you can make, uh, your most unique ideas mostly are probably going to be in that long term category. But if you're working for a company, you have to be thinking about the medium term and short term as well. I think that that's an interesting uh, balance that every breeder has to be you know, focused on. Getting some short, short term wins, some singles and doubles out early, and then hoping some of those home runs are going to turn out in the long term. I'm Alan Kovanek and I'm breeding tomatoes for a better generation.